You just watched the family of fallen officer Brian Sicknick snub Mitch McConnell to his face during the Congressional Medal of Honor ceremony intended to honor the officers who defended the Capitol during the January 6th insurrection. And man, was that satisfying to watch. And Mitch McConnell expected to get handshakes, but when he was rejected, just the look on his face, his soul being crushed, it was very cathartic for me to see uh, because Mitch McConnell is an absolute ghoul and he doesn't deserve respect from anyone now to be clear kevin mccarthy was being snubbed as well by the family but he wasn't holding out his hand so it was less awkward for him but which with mitch mcconnell he was expecting a handshake which he didn't get now the officer brian sicknick died after the january 6th insurrection due to a stroke and his brother here is going to explain why they refused to shake mitch mcconnell's hand self-explanatory but you know they, they came out right away and condemned what happened on january 6th and whatever hold that trump has on them they've backstepped they've danced they won't admit to wrongdoing not necessarily them themselves but of trump of the rioters i mean people like people like louis Roman who presented an american flag that was flown over the capitol to a january 6th ride and told them they were a patriot. It's disgusting. And now it takes away everything my brother's done. It takes away my brother, my, the, the heroism my brother showed. You know. Okay, you don't think you don't think they deserve a handshake in this context? No. 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 Definitely not. No, because they because unlike Bush Cheney, they have no idea what integrity is. They can't stand enough for what's right and wrong. Well, it's no. With them, it's party first. Liz gave up her political career. To do what was right and try to find the truth. She's she she's the one ray of hope for her and the whole committee that they can show integrity, that they can show they actually care about the process, about democracy, about everything that goes on. And these guys are oh, as long as we've got a big R in front of it, we're gonna do whatever you get. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that I blame them for the reasoning here. I would never shake any of these politicians' hands because none of them deserve our respect, given how terrible they've governed the country and just ran it into the ground because they're all corrupt. But I think that they especially have a reason to not be respectful to these politicians after they've shown them no respect. Now, I've got one more video clip that I want to play for you. This is from uh, Gladys Sicknick, the mother of Brian Sicknick and his brother. They kind of explain how they came to this decision and why they also did not intend on shaking Kevin McCarthy's hand as well. We got together and we said we're not going to shake their hands. And now McCarthy is going to investigate. He's going to investigate the committee that investigated January 6th. There's much more to that response. It basically comes down to this. The family members said that um, there was the continued loyalty to Donald Trump that was the problem for them, that the idea that Kevin McCarthy in particular, to a lesser degree, Mitch McConnell, but McCarthy going down to Mar-a-Lago in the days after January 6th, that they, they, they couldn't take seriously this idea that they were now backing the police officers who stood up and fought on January 6th. So Yeah, I mean, I think that they are absolutely within their right to pay no respect to these loathsome politicians, and especially considering that McCarthy is going to investigate the January 6th committee. I mean, it's just like they're spitting in the faces of this family, so why would they be respectful? The fact that Mitch McConnell would hold out his hand and expect a handshake in return, I mean, the audacity of these individuals. Now, one more thing that I want to share from uh, Gladys Sicknick, this is Brian Sicknick's mom again, uh, is she doesn't think that Republicans have respected their wishes. Newsweek explains, last year, Sicknick, referring to Gladys, urged Congress to approve a commission to investigate the riot, asking them to visit her son's grave before making their final decision. Sicknick criticized certain Republicans' actions after several lawmakers expressed opposition to the committee, including McConnell. So this was honestly surprising to me to see. I like seeing things like this. It really frustrates me to see so many individuals in this country pay deference and worship these politicians and even celebrities who don't give a damn about them, right? I don't see why we don't see this more. I don't understand how all of these politicians aren't afraid to show their faces in public because every time they leave home, 
they get booed loudly wherever they go. I don't care if it's at a restaurant or at a department store. Anyone who sees them should be booing because these people are ruining the country. I mean, extend this. It's not just about January 6th and that particular family. Think of all of the ways that these politicians are screwing us over. And to be clear, I'm not just talking about Republicans as well. To see Chuck Schumer in public, I would boo him as well. To see Nancy Pelosi, I would boo her as well. There's always a reason to challenge these politicians in power. Always, right? Because even if Democrats, for example, are better than Republicans, they're still inadequate. They're still not meeting our expectations. Chuck Schumer isn't allowing a vote on an antitrust bill that is very important for reigning in big tech. This is something that could pass, but he is not allowing it to pass. He hasn't reigned in his caucus, Joe Manchin, Kirsten Sinema, and has allowed them to essentially cripple the Democratic Party's agenda. Nancy Pelosi, very clearly guilty of insider trading, killed that bill. There's just so much to hate about these politicians. And even if you agree with the politician, I think that there's no reason to not challenge them. For example, back in 2018, 2019, my senator, Jeff Merkley, who I actually like, he did a town hall. I showed up and I got the opportunity to ask him a question and I challenged him. I asked him why he didn't speak up in defense of the, of the First Amendment and condemn the extradition case by the U.S. for Julian Assange, because that case could be the slippery slope Well, where if you prosecute him and successfully extradite him, then other journalists in this country are going to be fearful of posting leaks because of what happened to Julian Assange. And now the New York Times has finally come out and said the same thing, that yes, this is an attack on journalism. So there's always some reason to challenge these politicians. So at a minimum, Stop worshiping them. But at most, I think that if you see them in public, these are public figures. You're their boss, by the way. You put them in power. They're subordinate to you, or should be anyways. It's not like they're loading, lording over us and we're the peasants. We are their bosses. So it is incumbent on us to hold them accountable. And when Congress has such a low approval rating, there's no reason to buddy up with them when you see them in public and take their pictures. No, respectfully challenge them. Or if you don't want to be bothering with these people, if they're that loathsome to where they can't be changed, their minds are just set, they're too corrupt, then boo them. That's my recommendation. So I like seeing this because I'm sick and tired of these politicians who ruin the country spit in our faces, fuck us over, still be respected by individuals when they have done nothing to earn that respect and have done everything in their power to earn our scorn. So to see this family basically give uh, Mitch McConnell the middle finger, it was really satisfying to watch. I want more Americans to understand that these politicians are not their friends. They are your employees. You are their boss. Treat them accordingly. Stop pretending like they're celebrities. Actually challenge them and hold them accountable if you have the opportunity to meet them. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Ah, ah, uh, 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 come. come.